Hello again, my friends. If you are here for the very first time and you don't already know, I'm Islam Shaban with BC Base PLC programming using Twincast 3 tutorial. This is exactly where you want to be to learn more about Twincast 3 and how to program a bit of BC Base PLC. In the previous episode, we start learning the structured text as a programming language. We talked about the variable and how to declare and assign variable. Also talked about the most commonly used data type. If you already missed how to create a Twincat project and the basic needed knowledge for starting working with Twincat 3, feel free to check the previous episodes. Also, do not miss the practical example at the upcoming episodes. In a separate episode, we will build an entire code from scratch as a practical example using IO Factory software as a simulation, so do not miss the fun bar. In today's video, we will talk about the most famous instruction in the programming world, the if instruction or if statement. Also, we will talk about the case instruction as well. People make decisions every day. For example, before you go outside, you kind of have an if statement that says, if it's raining, then I need to get my jacket. The if statement is a decision-making statement that guides a program to make decisions based on a specified criteria. The if statement executes one set of codes if a specified condition is met true or another set of code if that condition evaluates to false. All right then, let's do some coding. First, I'm gonna create a Boolean variable with a name condition and another variable with a name message and data type string. The initial value is an empty message. The string data type is a data type that can store text. To write an if statement, you have to write if the keyword followed by the condition that you want to check. In our case here is the Boolean variable condition and you have to write the keyword then and hit enter. Notice the input assistant automatically inserts the keyword and F for you. So let's write down some code between then and end F. Let's say and do not forget the semicolon at the end. That Twincat will execute the piece of code between then and end F only if the condition has a true value. Okay, let's run the code. Remember, the message variable has an empty initial value. Let's switch the value of the variable condition to true. Notice the message value now. All right then, what if we need to change the message to another message if the condition value switch back to false? So we can use the else statement. So let's write a different message in the false condition. Twincat will evaluate the condition's value. If it has a true value, will execute the code between then and else. And if the condition has a false value, it will execute the code between else and end f. Let's run the code and see what will happen. Notice the message still has the initial value, which is empty. Hit start PLC. Immediately, the message becomes else is executed as the initial value of the condition is false. In the first cycle of the code, the else condition is the active condition. I'm gonna change the condition value to true. Then notice the message. Yeah, now the message is the if is executed. Okay, let's switch back the condition value to false. 
and notice the message the message now is else is executed okay that was the basic form of using if statement so let's take another example imagine we have an integer variable and based on its value the code should do different actions for example if the variable value equals 10 the message says the value is 10 and if the variable value equals 20 the message says the value is 20 and so on so in that case we are gonna use else f to specify a new condition to be evaluated if the first condition is false first let's create the variable i'm gonna comment this part of the code then the code will be the message as you can expect the value is 10 else if the value is 20 and an extra condition and another else if else if as its name suggests is a combination of if and else like else it extends an if statement to execute a different statement in case the original if expression evaluates to false however unlike else it will execute that alternative expression only if the else if conditional expression evaluates to true all right then let's run the code Now we can play with the variable value. Let's make the value 10. Notice the message says the value is 10. And if we make the value 20, notice the message not surprisingly says the value is 20. And the same will happen if we switch the value to 30 and 40 as well. But what if we change the variable value to a value not equal to any values in the else if conditions? For instance, 50. Notice the message doesn't change and kept the last message. But you want the system to execute a specific instruction if the value of the variable not equal to any values in the else if conditions so back to our code and let's see how we can do it let's add an else statement to the end of the else if statements and the message will be not a specified value else has been executed twinkat will evaluate the conditions of the else if statement successively and if none of them are true, Twincat only execute the else statement. Okay, let's run the code. Notice the message value. And remember, the initial value of the variable is zero, which is not equal to any condition. Thus, the else statement has been executed. If the value changes, let's say, to 30, the message changes. And if it changes back to 50, exactly as you expected, the else has been executed. If there may be several else if within the same if statement, only the first else if expression that evaluates to true would be executed. So, only one expression would be executed even if several else if expression evaluates to true. Let's take another example to show you how. Let's say we have two integer variables and this piece of code
message equal var1 not equal var2 Notice the message says the two variables are equivalent as the initial default value for both of them is zero. If I change the value of the variable two to 30, the else if would be executed. Notice the message. And if I change it back to zero and change the var one to 20, the else if would be executed. Notice the message. Till now, the else if is running as expected, similar behavior of the previous example. But what would happen if I change the var variables to 20 and 30 in the same time? The first else if is the only expression has been executed. Notice the message. Although the condition of the first and the second else if is true, even you would expect that the else statement also would be executed as the if condition is false, rather only the first else if has been executed. So you have to think about the else if condition prioritization if you expect multi-condition would be true simultaneously to avoid any undesired behavior. That was the if instruction. So what about the case instruction? Basically, case instruction in the structured text programming language is the representative of the switch case in other programming languages. And it's mainly used as a replacement of the long else if code. A case statement is a type of selection control mechanism used to allow the value of a variable or expression to change the control flow of a program execution via a multi-way branch. So how to write case instruction in Twincat? Write case followed by the conditional variable, then followed by the keyword of, and hit enter. Then write all the cases between the two keywords of and in case. Each case should be ended by a colon. The case of statement evaluates the conditional variable matching its value to the case clause and executes only the statements associated with that case. For example, let's say the first case is 10. So if the variable value equals 10, then this case will be executed and the message would be, for example, the value is 10. And if you want to execute the same instruction for multiple values of the variable, you can write these values separated by a comma as one case. For example, 20 and 30, then the message would be the value is 20 or 30. And if you want to execute the same instruction, if the variable value equals a range, you can write that range as following. And of course, if the variable is not equal to any case, the else instruction will be executed. All right, then let's run the code. Notice the message, the else is executed as the variable initial value is zero. But by changing the value to 10, notice the message, it changes to the message in the first case for the value 10. Also, if I change the value to 30, Notice the message, it changed it to the message in the second case, as the second case will be executed if the value is 20 or 30. So let's try the value 20, and of course the message will be the same. And if the variable has any value between 40 and 60, we will get the same message of the third case. Let's try some values. As the third case 
will be executed if the variable has any value between 40 and 60. And finally, if the variable has a value not equal to any specified values in the case instruction, so the else will be executed. Let's try the value 70.